Hello everyone and welcome to our third video on Python tutorials. Um, if you could recall in our previous videos we have discussed some of the key concepts that we need in our beginning knowledge of Python. In, in our previous two videos we were able to discuss about Python strings. Uh, that was one of the things we discussed. We saw how uh, Python renders strings, how it does that with either the double quotes or the single quotes. We also discussed the different types of comments in Python, both um, single line comments, how they are made in Python, as well as the double or multi line comments as they are made in Python. We also discussed a little bit about the uh, standard print outputs, which is this print command that displays everything you want to display on the standard output screen, which is on the command line. Now, today we want to look at some new concepts, uh, some other interesting concepts that you need to know about as a programmer in Python. Now, first of all, we want to look at modules in Python. Um, modules, more or less, you could see them as uh, different functions that have been written and provided for Python developers in order for them to do complex and complicated functions or activities. So these modules usually they are imported from other classes and then brought forward Python in order to be able to use them to accomplish a particular task. So if for instance I wanted to do <coughs> a mathematical operation that would require one of the functions from module maths, all I have to do is use the keyword sorry import good so import is the standard word keyword that is used in Python if you want to import or bring a module and then make use of them in your own um, script or in your own code so the way I would do that is to import from module math so the moment I do this more or less I'm telling Python to import this entire module and take note the module is more like you know a single Python script that has a whole lot of functions that inside it functions that perform a whole lot of things uh, you can use the analogy of a house if you were to have a house then you know the module will represent that house whereas the functions that you're going to call from that module will represent the different areas of the house maybe the foundation the kitchen the bedroom or the parlor so each of these areas in the entire house to have their own functions to have their specific activities and so they're designed to suit the functions or activities that they carry out so right now what I'm doing now is I'm importing from the module math and from the module math I can specify a particular function that I need to make use of so if I want to eventually make use of let's say the square root function of module math all I have to do now is print match the square root and I will put in any number and I'll be able to get the result once I run the code so I wanted to take note of how this module is being imported that this is the keyword that is used in Python to import or to bring in anything that you want to any module that you want to make use of in your own Python script now this is one way of writing it in which case I'll need to specify the module and the function that I'm using subsequently in the Python scripts before I get to make use of it another way of I could do this is to write this this way from import sorry from module max I want to import a square root function okay so definitely Python knows that once I write this that I'm trying to import the square root function of module max and make use of it in my own uh, script so if I want to find a square root of a number like 4 all I have to do is square root of 4 and I wouldn't have to specify the module as I did earlier on and by the time I run this it will work just fine now 
you know, um, with the analogy of a house that I'm using, a single house will have a whole lot of uh, different areas in the house. The house will have a foundation, will have a bedroom, it will have a parlor, toilet, and the rest of them. So a single module could have as many functions as possible, and you don't want to start calling them one after the other like that. Match that. So you want to call if you want to call as many of, of them as possible as is present or located in that module. All you have to do is use the asterisk sign. And then with that you are calling all the module, all the, all the um, all the functions in that module, and you can make use of any of them as often as you want to do whatever you want to do with them. But you gotta take note because if, for instance, I am, I am uh, importing, I'm making this statement now, and I'm, I have to import all the functions in this module mat. If I now declare a function on my own script being python script that has the same name as a function in the module match there could be errors based on uh, based on the fact that i've already declared a function in the match module so <clears throat> once you do this you gotta be very careful with the way and the name you give to some of the functions in your program and be sure that it doesn't conflict with the functions that are being imported from a particular module now, aside from module, there's also something we call built-in functions, okay, in Python. These are functions that already come with the Python in the printer, they come with the IDE, and once you, uh, you can make use of them without having to import anything from any module. They're already embedded in your Python in the printer. So, if, for instance, a, a command like power, if I want to do something, let's say 2 to the power 2, if you run this statement, you're going to see your results come out just fine. You don't have to import anything because these are built-in functions that already come along with your Python interpreter. Now for a list of all the built-in functions that you have that accompany this Python interpreter, all you have to do is go to your Python IDLE, not the command line, you're going to have to go to the IDLE, that's the GUI that comes with the Python interpreter, and you launch that up. And once that comes up, all you have to do is type the directory, type on double highlights, uh, type build, build ins. Once you, sorry, once you hit the enter button, you get to see all the built in functions that Python interpreter comes with that you can make use of without having to import anything. If, for instance, you don't have, for example, um, let's see, let me see if I can identify the power function we just made use of. Okay, yeah, this is the power function that we just made use of. Okay, so if you want to make use of any function here, any built in function here, and you're not really sure of what it does or how it's written or the number of arguments that it requires, all you have to do is make use of the help built in function that has already been provided. Type the name of the function, let's say power for instance, put your closing parentheses and hit it enter. And this will give you an idea as to what you're supposed to do or how you're supposed to make use of that particular. Um, <clears throat> that particular function, the arguments that are supposed to go in, and the output that it's it's gonna give you. So I hope you really understand the difference between built-in functions and modules, and how you import modules. Now, for example, modules like the one that I imported earlier, like uh, from Matt, module Matt, you you notice that these are modules that already come with the Python interpreter so you have to import them but there are external modules that are out there because Python 2 is evolving as fast as possible there are a whole lot of community developers out there that are producing APIs and modules and making it available to handle much more complex tasks now if you want to add more modules to your Python script depending on the functionality you're trying to execute all you have to do is come to your PyCharm here click on it click on um, settings once your setting comes up, you select your project interpreter, then uh, come over here. Uh, for now, I'm using my project Python 2.7. If you have Python 3, you select on it from the drop down box and you'll be able to see it. So, you select any of the Python interpreters that you have, click on the add button that is here, and you'll see a list of all the modules that are also available that you can make use of. 
and you could type if you know the name of the one the module you're trying to get you can type the name of the module there and then click on it and then install the package once that is successfully installed you'll find your module appearing there and you can import module and make use of it in here so these are very important and it's very vital for you to know how these are being used now we also go over to what we call um, memory concepts okay for those of you who are following the material that I gave you to read Python allocates variables to a certain memory that it provides okay so if I were to write something like variable y has a value of 6 what Python does is Python creates a location in this memory and puts the value of 6 